the Mozambique Liberation Front, from the Portuguese Frente de Libertacao de Mocambique is the dominant political party in Mozambique. Founded in 1962, FRELIM began as a liberation movement fighting for the independence of the Portuguese overseas province of Mozambique. Independence was achieved in June 1975 after the Carnation Revolution in Lisbon the previous year. At the party's third congress in February 1977, it became an officially Marxist-Leninist political party. It identified as the Freely Mo Party. The Freely Mo Party has ruled Mozambique since then, first as a one-party state. It struggled through a long civil war against an anti-communist faction known as Mozambican National Resistance or RENAMO. The insurgents received support from the then white minority governments of Rhodesia and South Africa. Freely Mo Party approved a new constitution in 1990, which established a multi-party system. Since democratic elections in 1994 and subsequent cycles, Freely Mo has been elected as the majority party in the Parliament of Mozambique. Independence War After World War II, while many European nations were granting independence to their colonies, Portugal, under the Estado Novo regime, maintained that Mozambique and other Portuguese possessions were overseas territories of the metropole. Emigration to the colonies soared. Calls for Mozambican independence developed rapidly, and in 1962 several anti-colonial political groups formed FRELIMO. In September 1964, it initiated an armed campaign against Portuguese colonial rule. Portugal had ruled Mozambique for more than 400 years. Not all Mozambicans desired independence and fewer still sought change through armed revolution. FRELIMO was founded in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania on 25 June 1962, when three regionally based nationalist organizations, the Mozambique and African National Union, National Democratic Union of Mozambique, and the National African Union of Independent Mozambique merged into one broad-based guerrilla movement. Under the leadership of Eduardo Mondlane, elected president of the newly formed Mozambique and Liberation Front, FRELIMO settled its headquarters in 1963 in Dar es Salaam. The Rev. Uriah Simango was its first vice president. The movement could not then be based in Mozambique as the Portuguese opposed nationalist movements and the colony was controlled by the police. Tanzania and its president, Julius Nyerere, were sympathetic to the Mozambican nationalist groups. Convinced by recent events, such as the Mueda massacre, that peaceful agitation would not bring about independence. FRELIMO contemplated the possibility of armed struggle from the outset. It launched its first offensive in September 1964. During the ensuing War of Independence, FRELIMO received support from China, the Soviet Union, the Scandinavian countries, and some non-governmental organizations in the West. Its initial military operations were in the north of the country. By the late 1960s it had established liberated zones in northern Mozambique in which it, rather than the Portuguese, constituted the civil authority. In administering these zones, FRELIMO worked to improve the lot of the peasantry in order to receive their support. It freed them from subjugation to landlords and Portuguese appointed chiefs, and established cooperative forms of agriculture. It also greatly increased peasant access to education and healthcare. Often FRELIMO soldiers were assigned to medical assistance projects. Its members' practical experiences in the liberated zones resulted in the FRELIMO leadership increasingly moving toward a Marxist policy. FRELIMO came to regard economic exploitation by Western capital as the principal enemy of the common Mozambican people, not the Portuguese as such, and not Europeans in general. Although it was an African nationalist party, it adopted a non-racial stance. Numerous whites and mulattoes were members. 
The early years of the party, during which its Marxist direction evolved, were times of internal turmoil. Mondlane, along with Marcelino dos Santos, Samora Machel, Joaquim Chisano and a majority of the party's Central Committee promoted the struggle not just for independence but to create a socialist society. The Second Party Congress, held in July 1968, approved the socialist goals. Mondlane was re-elected party president and Yuria Simango was re-elected vice president. After Mondlane's assassination in February 1969, Yuria Simango took over the leadership, but his presidency was disputed. In April 1969, leadership was assumed by a triumvirate, with Machel and Dos Santos supplementing Simango. After several months, in November 1969, Machel and Dos Santos ousted Simango. He left FRELIMO and joined the Small Revolutionary Committee of Mozambique Liberation Movement. FRELIMO established some liberated zones in northern Mozambique. The movement grew in strength during the ensuing decade. As FRELIMO's political campaign gained coherence, its forces advanced militarily, controlling one-third of the area of Mozambique by 1969, mostly in the northern and central provinces. It was not able to gain control of any urban center, including none of the small cities and towns located inside the liberated zones. In 1970 the guerrilla movement suffered heavy damage due to Portugal's Gordian Knot operation, which was masterminded by Cowles at Hararija. By the early 1970s, FRELIMO's 7,000-strong guerrilla force had taken control of some parts of central and northern Mozambique. It was engaging a Portuguese force of approximately 60,000 soldiers. The April 1974 Carnation Revolution in Portugal overthrew the Portuguese Estado Novo regime, and the country turned against supporting the long and draining colonial war in Mozambique. Portugal and FRELIMO negotiated Mozambique's independence, which was official in June 1975. FRELIMO established a one-party state based on Marxist principles, with Samora Machel as president. The new government first received diplomatic recognition and some military support from Cuba and the Soviet Union. Marcelino dos Santos became vice president. In a suppression of the opposition, government forces quickly arrested and executed without trial Yuria Simango and his wife Selena, and other prominent Freelimo dissidents, including Paulo Gumain and Adelino Guam, former leaders of UDENAMO. Civil War, Mozambique's national anthem from 1975 to 1992 was Viva, Viva or FRELIMO. All elements of society did not accept the new government, and a strong insurgency arose. The new government engaged in a lengthy civil war with an anti-communist political faction known as Mozambican National Resistance. It received support from the white minority governments of Rhodesia and apartheid South Africa. After Machel died in 1986 in a suspicious airplane crash, Joaquim Chisano took over leadership of both the party and the state, especially after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1989 and related changes among Eastern Bloc European countries. Chisano began to envision a multi-party system in Mozambique. This civil war conflict was not ended until 1992 under the Rome General Peace Accords. The long years of war had caused extensive social disruption and poverty, making it difficult for the government to achieve social goals and improve the lot of the people. In later years, as FRELIMO moved towards social democratic views, it received active support from Margaret Thatcher's government in the United Kingdom. Mozambique became a member of the Commonwealth of Nations, comprising mostly independent, former British colonies, including some in Africa. End of Marxist ideology Despite having formerly been inspired by communist bloc countries, Chisano was not a hardline Marxist. Following the collapse of the Eastern Bloc in 1989, he came to see Marxist ideology as outdated for the contemporary world. 
He supported a revised constitution which was adopted in 1990 and introduced the multi-party system to Mozambique. It ended one-party rule. After the Mozambican Civil War was ended by the Rome General Peace Accords, the Mozambican ruling regime called for democratic multi-party elections in 1994. FRELIMO won the first elections with a large majority of the votes. The party believed it needed to reduce all trace of socialist influence, and its members have worked to revise official histories of the Mozambican War of Independence. Already heavily mythologized, the official history of the struggle for independence has been distorted in a new way. 1999 and 2000s at the elections in late 1999, President Chisano was re-elected with 52.3% of the vote, and FRELIMO secured 133 of 250 parliamentary seats. Due to accusations of election fraud and several cases of corruption, Chisano's government was widely criticized. But, under Chisano's leadership, Mozambique has continued to be regarded as a model of fast and sustainable economic growth and democratic changes. Chisano decided freely not to stand for the 2004 presidential election, although the constitution permitted him to do so. In 2002 during its 8th Congress, the party selected Armando Gebuzo as its candidate for the presidential election on December 1-2, 2004. As expected given FRELIMO's majority status, he won, gaining about 60% of the vote. At the legislative elections of the same date, the party won 62.0% of the popular vote and 160 of 250 seats in the National Assembly. Our ENAMO and some other opposition parties made claims of election fraud and denounced the result. International observers supported the claims, criticizing the National Electoral Commission for failing to conduct fair and transparent elections. They listed numerous faults by the electoral authorities that resulted in benefiting the ruling party FRELIMO. But, the EU observers concluded that the election's shortcomings probably did not affect the final result of the vote of the presidential election. Foreign Support FRELIMO has received support from the governments of Tanzania, Algeria, Ghana, Zambia, Libya, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, the Netherlands, Brazil, Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Cuba, China, the Soviet Union, Egypt and SFR Yugoslavia, Somalia, Mozambican presidents representing FRELIMO. Simora Mitchell, the 25th of June 1975 to 19 October 1986. Joaquim Chisano, the 6th of November 1986 to 2 February 2005. Amando Gabuza, the 2nd of February 2005 to 15 January 2015. Felipe NYUSI, the 15th of January 2015 present. Other prominent members. Jose Ibrahim Moabudo, Justice Minister since 1994. Basilio Mahata, Chairman of FRELIMO Youth Organization since 2010. Shafuddin Khan, Ambassador of Mozambique.